Welcome back, everyone. I'm really excited about bringing on my next guest. She's a newbie. I have not had her on before. I have with me Bobby Seretich, and she is the owner of Southwest Institute for Emotional Intelligence. Welcome to the show. Please tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. My name is Bobby Seredit, and I am the co-founder of the Southwest Institute for Emotional Intelligence, which is really long. I know. We go by SWAT-EI. But I'm a certified trainer in emotional intelligence. I was actually certified to train and also a coach in 2004, so I've been doing it for a few years now. And I'm an author and a speaker. So we mostly work with corporate clients. We do work with some associations, some non for profit um, we do a lot of work in the community. So some of our clients include American Express. We work with SRP, with the City of Chandler, City of Phoenix. And we really look at bringing emotional intelligence skills to leaders in our communities, as well as we work nationally and, and a little bit internationally, too, bringing these emotional intelligence skills around leadership and communication skills. Now, I think it's really important for people to know the kind of companies that you work with. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the specific companies that we work with, I, I mentioned, but here locally, some of you might know, I mean, the bigger names are, like I said, American Express um, is a big corporate. We've worked with Banner Health, Sonora Quest, um, SRP, Bay Health Medical is a big client of ours in Delaware, which is not in our hometown, but it's a big hospital. Um, and we work with a lot of non-for-profits, too. Um, and we have other connections in the community with some associations, like the dental, the Arizona Dental Association, the Florida Dental Association. We work for insurance associations, so just a variety of individuals. If you're in a leadership role or a title, emotional intelligence skills matter. I mean, well, we're going to talk about what that really means, but really what I want to know, you mentioned that you're an author. Yes. So can you please tell me a little bit about your book? And I'm going to have you right there hand me her book. It's that little um, orangish colored one. I just want to make sure I have it in front of me. Please tell everybody a little bit about yourself. I mean, about the book and why you wrote it. Yeah, my book, uh, I wrote it, uh, it's probably been about 12 years ago, but the title is Courage Does Not Always Roar. And it is a book of stories of women of courage. And I was going through breast cancer when I wrote that book. So I was going through my radiation treatments towards the end. And so I wrote my story of courage. Uh, and then I actually interviewed all these other women. So it's that courage to just get up the next day and do a little bit better. It's not the, the person that always gets on the radio, but it's the unsung heroes. And it really relates to emotional intelligence because it helped me to form my own authenticity skills and have more empathy for people that struggle going through cancer or other challenges. Other challenges, I want to mention that, but first of all, congratulations to you and you know, obviously getting better. And, and uh, th now, obviously you don't have to be a woman for this. You also don't have to go through cancer or been through cancer because that's not what this is about. This is what it brought, how you got through it. And that is what I would say, and I know a lot of women can relate to this, even though we do have a man sitting in the room right now, <laughs> I will have to say that a lot of women can relate to having to move forward and do what we have to do no matter what. Correct. Right? And Absolutely. that's where the leadership comes in. Us women are pretty cool at being leaders. I'm not saying that men are not either, but women tend to just somehow, I don't know what it is, they, they, I, from my, what I see in that perspective, I see that a lot. We're going to open up the lines of the audience real quickly so that everyone can call in, get entered in to win this book. It's called Courage Does Not Always Roar. And we've got our number here at 602-277-5369 and toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. And you can call throughout the rest of the show for it. Maybe it's for you or someone that you know. Again, it's really about leadership, about how you said how it got you through that in that time and made you be a leader by yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. An authentic leader, I think, is the key there. Just to really, you can't, sometimes it's hard for me with that book. I tried to hide with some of my customers and some of my, uh, even people I worked with that I was going through cancer because I just thought, oh, they'll think I'm, I'm weak or it's it's a challenge but it's it's interesting when you really cross over to being real you end up meeting so many more people and having so much more of a bond with with individuals so I say it's it's not 
um, I wouldn't wish cancer on anyone, but now I have this connection that's deeper than I would have ever had before. Sure, absolutely. Now, what do you, what, first of all, go back to this one. What is emotional intelligence, okay, and yes. how do you measure it? <laughs> emotional intelligence. A lot of people say, what? That, that can't happen. Emotional intelligence. I know intelli- I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're all working on it. I say it's like playing golf or practicing yoga. You have some good days and you have some off days because we're humans, right? We're designed or hardwired to be emotional human beings before we're logical and we can tap into our our thinking skills. But emotional intelligence is really how you manage your emotions and your emotional connections to other people. So how you show up, how you bring your best self to the table, even when there's pressure and stress and complexity, that's emotional intelligence. And you can measure it. We have an EI quiz on our website, swiei.com. We also have core competency cards around emotional intelligence. We we cover 12 core competencies that include, at a foundational level, self-awareness, your skill sets around emotional emotional management, and emotional connections to other people. So anyone can go up on that website and kind of learn this from you. Yes, take a quiz. Yeah, take a quiz and find out. Yeah, Yeah. that's really cool. So that's really, that's free to you out there. Your website is SWI. IEI.com. You work nationwide. You do free consultations. You're rated with the Better Business Bureau. You're on all social media as well. The number to call her direct is 602 703 9600. I say go up on that website and check it out and take the test, take a little quiz. And I guess that's going to find out where you are emotionally, intelligently. Is that how I say that? Yes. Is that right? <laughs> yes. I don't know. <laughs> we go by EI or EQ. A lot of people will know emotional quotient. Oh. Your EQ. Yeah. Okay. IQ, EQ. Okay, yeah. I got that. So now yep. the website again is S W I E I dot com. Um, I have to go into then this uh you, you know, you have an online six weeks program yep. that's kind of really neat. So let's talk a bit about that too. Yes, that is a six week program. We do work with companies on that, and we're opening up a public program in January of next year. So if you're a leader or emerging leader, you want to sign up. It's a great course, and it's really cool. It's it's something that's unique to the market. We three things we focus on: learn it, learn an AI skill set practice it we give you an option or an opportunity to really practice it and then demonstrate it we work with improv actors and so we have um, you learn the skill sense of EI and then you go into a final capstone with an improv actor where you have to do a performance review and you have an improv actor and you get coaching feedback on that so you're in a zoom we set it up for you and say hey this is your employee this is your top salesperson but nobody likes this person they're a bully and so you now you have to learn you learn all your EI skill sets you have to demonstrate that you can really apply them and then you're coached and graded on it so. now that's a six weeks program that's yep. going to be right on that website that's where they yes. do it on your website yes write that down it's s w i e i dot com now when does that happen that six weeks program it's it starts I think it's January 20th okay, is so the day so it yeah it's the first one because yeah. it's the first of the year and you just yes. want to change yourself do something good you know it's perfect time um, and again, you can go up on the website and check it out now. Uh, it is SWIEI.com. Let's go back to you with some of these other things. What do you think that the most important quality of a leader uh, with emotional intelligence is? I think self-awareness is the most important thing. Self-awareness is really how you see yourself and how others see you. And especially in my coaching work, I... You know, I work with a lot of leaders that they don't even know what they don't know. (laughs) You know what I loved about what you said something earlier, which was to know a little bit about, uh, you know, how you react to things. That's also a very big thing to be a leader. Because, you know, when something does something wrong, let's say, you have to know how to handle them correctly. That's also part of it. And that's also knowing yourself. Everything is about knowing yourself first. Do you agree? Absolutely. Knowing what makes you trigger, what makes you... We're all, we all have history. I mean, you can't go back and change your childhood or to where we are now or your first work experience, but they all play a role. Yeah, but you got to work on it. And that is where you come in. Yes. Now, I also wanted to ask you, what emotional intelligent tool can you teach our listeners or me? Oh, yeah. There's a quick tool we have. It's a tool called SBA. We've trademarked it. What is it? It stands for Stop, 
breathe, ask. And when you're emotionally triggered, SBA is what you, it's a quick tool. A lot of people love it. We want you to stop. Don't engage right away. Just stop and think about it. Breathe. We're talking those deep belly breaths, not that shallow breath that you get when you're nervous. And then ask questions. Less judgment, more curiosity. Awesome. See, that's where you have to know yourself and learn how to handle yourself and that's perfect. Stop, I'm sorry, yeah, stop, breathe, ask is what that is. And get, check them out on the website because there you can take their six-week online course that they've got their program coming up in January, right? That one's yeah, in January. Absolutely. Also, you could take that quiz, and they would love for you to do that. It is swiei.com. They do free consultations. They work nationwide, and they're rated with the Better Business Bureau.